process like Google thing, install something, and I say install, 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 and it just keeps coming back. Just install. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. Freaking no, I I keep saying install. Google's annoying now. All right, anyways. Uh, so we're gonna use Bernoulli's law as mentioned. So um, from Bernoulli's law we say um, oh, just kidding. We say pressure one plus um, one half rho v1 squared uh, plus rho g equals plus rho v2 plus rho h2. Okay, so we're going to use Bernoulli's law. We know what pressure one is there. Um, is there a velocity at the bottom? Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to say no for the moment. And we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but this is pressure. This is pressure one, and then here is zero because we're making we're making this this point zero, right? Because we're saying that's the bottom. And then up here, what is pressure two? Yeah, P two is atmospheric pressure, pressure, which is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. So I think what we need to do, well, if we're saying it's pumping from there, yeah, I got to see. I got to show this is zero. That's a weird way to write it. All right. Um, and then at the very top of the water, when the water stops up at the top of the air, what's the velocity? Zero. So this is zero. So this goes away and that goes away, because we're only considering the bottom and the top points. So do you see what we have here? And then H2, can someone give me a, a, a statement for H2? What is H2 equal? There you go. 10 plus H. Does that make sense? Questions? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, what we can do is say, uh, what I'm thinking is if this fluid, or this tube is like consistent all the way to the top. So let's say as the water shoots out of the, the hole, let, let's whatever, pretend miraculously that there's no friction on this tube. Does it make sense to you that that water would shoot in a perfectly straight line up? And that the column of water would be about the same diameter as this. So if the diameter of water is the same all the way to the top, then the velocity has to be the same. Does that make sense? Because of flow rate equation. So I'm kind of doing that. We'll see if it works. I mean, I'm just kind of doing this right now. So let's see. Um, so what we're saying is P1 is going to equal P2 plus rho g h2. And that means P plus rho g plus h. So then P1 equals P2 plus uh, 10 rho g plus you know, rho g h. Okay, so h is equal to p1 minus p2 minus 10 rho g all over rho g. And of course, rho is the density of water. So that is the correct answer, and we're good.